In this video, projections of oblique planes will be presented. So if you just look over here, there are different oblique planes. So what's oblique plane normally? So oblique planes are a plane which are not perpendicular or parallel to either of the three principal planes. That means the plane may not be parallel for the three planes. At the same time, it is not perpendicular to the three principal planes. So if such types of planes are there, so we call it as an oblique plane. When you just look into this animation, this plane is not parallel or it's not perpendicular to either of the three planes. Even if, if you just rotate into this way, you can see that this plane and the other plane is making the angle rather than zero degree or 90 degree. So that means this plane is also inclined to all of the three principal plane. So if you just look from the front side in this way, so this plane will have a foreshortened projection over the vertical plane. And then when you just look from the side view even, then it will have also a distorted shape or a distorted plane on the profile plane. And then the other one, when you just look from the top, you will get just the distorted or the foreshortened plane over the horizontal plane. So the oblique plane just make the projections on different principal planes having a foreshortened plane. It will be a plane, but that is a foreshortened, that means the length is, is diminished. So oblique planes are different from the other planes like normal and inclined plane due to this reason. That means it will have a plane projection on the three principal planes. If you want to know more about the other types of plane projection, you might just get the access on this channel so you can just refer on the video description and then the other one when just we come to the projection part here so if just this plane is an oblique plane and then placed into this way on a standard coordinate system let's see what will be the projections of this on different view and then we will just look from the front side that means its projection will be on the vertical plane. So when we project them, the three pointers will be placed on the vertical plane in this way. That means the projections of AF, BF, and CF will be created. That means it means just a front view of each point. So once you connect them, you will get just this distorted or this foreshortened plane. And then on the top view, it will be also projected into this way. And then once you get that, you'll get A, T, B, T, and C, T. That means the top views of points A, B, and point C. Once you connect them, finally you'll get this plane. So this is a foreshortened plane which is created on the horizontal plane as a top view. And then the other one, when you just look from the right side view, its projection will be just like this. So each point will be projected into the profile plane. They make the right side view. So AR, VR, and CR will be created for right side view. And then if you connect them, you'll get this plane. And then this plane is also a foreshortened plane of projection for triangle A, B, and C. Now, once we just see the projection on the standard coordinate system, let me show you on the multi-view drawing on the 2D plane here. So this is a vertical plane in front view. And this is a horizontal plane for a top view and then this is a profile plane for a side view so just if you just put all the projections of af bf and cf on the front view you will get that point so points a b and c can be located in this way we will see normally this with a numerical values later so once you get all the pointers on the front view you can connect them and then finally you'll get this projection and then this will be the plane on the front view Normally, this plane and this plane are the same. This is on the vertical plane of a 3D or a normal coordinate, standard coordinate system, but this one is on a 2D on a multi-view drawing layout. And then on the other one for a top view, all the pointer, that means AT, BT, and CT can be placed in this way. Once you connect them, finally, you will get such types of plane. This plane is also the projections of the triangle ABC on the top view. And then for the side view, you can also put this one as a right side view that means ar br and cr will be placed and then finally for your multi-view drawing you will have such types of layout now when you look just them all the planes are foreshortened in this way 
So when you just come into just with the numerical value, that means if the coordinate pointers are given with a number, then how we could just put them on the first angle projection system in a multi-view drawing. Now let's see this example. This is called sketch front top and side projection using first angle projection system for a triangle ABC where A is 2, 1, 3 centimeter, B is 8, 4, 5 centimeter, and C is 6, 8, 2 centimeter. That means X, Y, and Z coordinate systems are given. I hope it will be very simple if you are just looking on the projections of normal plane and projections of inclined plane, so it will be very simple. So the projections of three pointers, that means A, B, and C on the front view will be the combinations of X and Y coordinate system. So point A is 2 cm in the X, that means from here to it is 2 cm, and then in the Y it is 1 cm, so it will have this location if you just refer this ruler. This is a 2 cm and then the vertical is 1 cm, so AF can be placed over this one. And the same thing for point B. Point B is 8 in the X and then 4 in the Y, so you can just place at this specific location. And then for point C, in the X it's 6 and then in the Y it's 8, so you can just put that one at this position. Once we get the specific locations of each point, we can connect in this way and then the projections of the triangle on the front view will be this part. The projections of this triangle on the top view can be now on the X and Z coordinate system. So point A on the top view will be just in the X it is 2 so we can follow this vertical line and then in the Z it is 3 so from here to it is 3 and then at that position we can put point A. So top view of point A will be here and then for point B it is in the X, it is 8, that means in this vertical plane. And then in the Z, it is 5 centimeters. So from here to it is 5. So if you just put that point, you will get top views of that point B. And then for point C, in the X, it is just normally 6. So we can follow this part. And then in the Z, it is 2 centimeters. So we can just put that point over here. Once we get that, we can connect them. And then the top view or the projections of the triangle on the horizontal plane will be this triangle. And then for the side view, we'll just project every point in the Y and Z coordinate system. That means point A in the Y and Z means in the Y it is just one centimeter. That means it will be in this horizontal line. And then in the Z it is just three. So from here to here it is three. So we can put at this position. And then this is just right side of point A. And then point B, it is just 4 and 5, that means 4 in the Y and 5 in the Z, that means it will be on this horizontal line. And then from here to here, you can measure that and then it will be 5, so we can put at this position. And then point C can be placed over here. In the Y, it is just 8, and then the Z it is 2, from here to here, it will be 2. And then once we connect that, we'll get this triangle. So this is just the projections of triangle ABC on the profile plane, or it is right side view. So the projections of the triangle ABC on different view, that means on the front, on the top and the side view can be constructed in this way. If you want to know more about the projections of plane, you might refer different videos related to this, like projections of normal plane, inclined plane, or projections of point, or etc. So you can get so many videos related to the drawing. So you can just refer in our channel and then if you just enjoy the video you might like share and then subscribe our channel so thank you for watching and then see you soon